General Mills says their Cheerios are safe, but a consumer nonprofit says they are not safe when eaten over a lifetime. Why? Well, the group says there are small amounts of Roundup, you know, Roundup, found in the cereal. General Mills says, we know, but it's safe according to government standards. Those are both sides of this massive story right now. The real question here, and I do mean this, how much Roundup is safe to eat? This week, the nonprofit Environmental Workers Group dropped what looks like a bombshell. Roundup for breakfast, part two and new tests weed killer found in all kids' cereals sampled. The group says it tested seven types of General Mills Cheerios brands and 12 kinds of Quaker cereals and snacks. In all of them, they found trace amounts of the herbicide glyphosate. It's the main ingredient in Roundup. Now, the Food and Drug Administration and the Environmental Protection Agency say the levels of glyphosate found in the cereals are safe and below the legal standards established. General Mills says the same thing. However, the EWG believes the levels found in all but two of these samples could potentially cause cancer over a lifetime. And that's according to its own standards. We think that EPA's limit is not protective enough. We spoke with Tasha Stoiber, a senior scientist at the EWG, which did this study. We're worried that people are consuming too much glyphosate in their diets, especially children. And since this pesticide is, is linked to cancer, um, we're especially concerned because children are more susceptible to carcinogens. I read a Slate article that said back in August when you came out with your first study that your group was blowing this out of proportion and exaggerating the risks. What's your response to that? So our view is that pesticides that are linked to cancer don't belong in children's cereal. Our benchmark is conservative and it has been calculated to be precautionary and this is the level that we we have calculated um, to avoid that long-term risk of cancer. We reached out to General Mills which said quote most crops grown in fields use some form of pesticides and trace amounts are found in the majority of food we all eat. Experts at the FDA and EPA determine the safe levels for food products. It goes on to say, the extremely low levels of pesticide residue cited in recent news reports is a tiny fraction of the amount that the government allows. Consumers are regularly bombarded with alarming headlines, but rarely have the time to weigh the information for themselves. We feel this is important context that consumers should be aware of when considering this topic, end quote. So let's do the math for you. And you don't have to know exactly what this means. Just compare the numbers. The EPA says the limit for glyphosate is 30 parts per million for oats. EWG says the limit should be 0.16 part per million, practically 200 times less. Now the amounts found in the cereals and snacks range from 0.045 to 2.8 parts per million. This is substantially more than the nonprofit's limits, but far less than the federal limits. A lot of math, a little confusing, but a huge controversy. You think this is contentious? Get this. The International Agency for Research on Cancer uh, classified glyphosate as probably carcinogenic to humans. The EPA concluded that glyphosate is not likely to be carcinogenic in humans. So science is confused in this too. Let us know how you feel. This will be your chance to weigh in about feeding your kids the cereal. Hit us up, hashtag BTN11 on Twitter.